Hello, Gary. Hello, hello. Welcome to Eastwood Park Theatre. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we're really excited about you coming in November, November 18th. Yeah, really looking forward to myself. I haven't played in this theatre in nearly 10 years, so I'm really, really looking forward to coming back. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, we said on Facebook and Twitter that we would have some uh, questions yeah. from uh, your, your fans, and we've had lots of people messaging in, so we'll get cracking with those. I suppose to start off, We'll just say that you have your new uh, album coming out and did you want to tell us about that and maybe what the inspiration was behind the new album? Yeah, so the new album's called Era and uh, it was very much um, the, the thinking behind it was um, a new chapter in my life, you know, leaving essentially like a, a boyhood era behind me and becoming a man. And um, last year uh, and, and this year was quite a few significant changes in my life and that day, well I get married and uh, which was which was lovely um, and with that as well then for many years I was playing shinty a uh, sport that we play in the west west coast of Scotland predominantly uh, for Fort William and uh, I had to hang up my boots and uh, I was a firefighter uh, an auxiliary firefighter for 15 and a half years as well and with my musical commitments I had to uh, put that aside as well and so there was many chapters in my life I felt I was kind of laying to rest and it felt very much like the end of an era um, with that as well came my two little nieces, Elise and Zara, and you know it just felt like everything was in, in our family and me personally was starting to change and move in a very different direction, uh, and I wanted to mark that. So that was the inspiration behind Era and uh, marking that that huge chapter in my life. Yeah, brilliant, and we're all really looking forward to hearing it. Um, I suppose you mentioned your shinty there, and, and one of the other questions was, do you miss your, your shinty days, and do you just still uh, get to play? I really do. I don't get to play anymore, unfortunately. Okay. I, I, uh, I tend to look after the fingers a bit more than I used to. <laughs> um, more than anything, I really miss the boys, because I think so many people can relate to this, but when you play a team sport and play with a team week in, week out, you're training with the, the same lads for many, many years. You know all the, the good stories, the bad stories uh, of their personal lives and on the sports field as well. And, um, you know, as a team, you really, really bond essentially as, you know, without being kind of cliche, as a kind of band of brothers. And I really miss that more than um, the, the, the sport itself. I miss the, the camaraderie and the, the boys that I've essentially grown up with for many, many years and through thick and thin. Oh, brilliant. 